The X-Men are back in 2016 in what's going to be a massive year for comic book movies. Batman v Superman, Civil War, Deadpool, Ninja Turtles, all guaranteed hits. But let's take a look at this first X-Men Apocalypse trailer in a bit more depth, including some Easter eggs and references, and dig a little bit deeper than the surface level. Bear in mind, as always, potential spoilers, because I've certainly never been wrong about predictions before. And if you think I have, well... You're wrong! Things kick off with Jean Grey having a terrifying vision of the future. We get flashes of hieroglyphics, mushroom clouds, and cities burning. All signs that Apocalypse is coming, and about to wreck shop. Which is what he's all about. But the thing is, I've also had a vision of the future. It's called The End of Days of Future Past, and it has hologram alarm clocks, Kelsey Grammer, and weird sunglasses. Now, I didn't get a good look out the window, but I don't think the world was destroyed. So, spoiler alert, Apocalypse doesn't destroy the world, everything will be fine. But let's talk about the character of Apocalypse himself. Now, Singer has stated that this story spans the globe and explores the history of mutants, which makes sense considering Apocalypse is considered one of the first. He always has four other mutants to do his bidding, whom he imbues with additional powers. This time being Magneto, Angel, or Archangel, who is given new wings, Storm, and Psylocke. According to Entertainment Weekly, which is some kind of papered publication that strangely still exists, he'll attempt to take on a fifth, that being Professor X. We see that sequence in the trailer also. It looks like he's reaching out with Cerebro, only to be overwhelmed by Apocalypse's power, then kidnapped and Professor X'd. Now, being Professor X'd is something that happens to him every movie. You see, because his character could solve every problem immediately, in every entry in this series, the writers have to devise a way to incapacitate him, making him Professor X'd, as it were. Sometimes it's a drug, sometimes they gas him, and other times he just explodes. It's a time-honored tradition. Anyways, it looks like he might get into some kind of mind battle with Apocalypse. I think this is the case because he's seen standing. Also, he throws a punch, and I don't think he's ever done that. We also see Apocalypse grow in size, which he can do in the comics. It's among his power set, which includes basically all the powers. But to be honest, it's still unclear everything he'll be able to do in this movie. I think this scene also leads to the capture of some of the X-Men. We see Beast, Quicksilver, Mystique, and Moira McTaggart, who's returned after skipping Days of Future Past. Havoc isn't there, but maybe he's killed or something. I mean, someone's gotta bite it, and that could be the catalyst for his brother Cyclops to come on board. This Quicksilver sequence sees him running through the X-Mansion, possibly to intervene, leading to his capture. Director Brian Singer actually said on Twitter that there is an incredibly complicated Quicksilver sequence in this movie that took about a month and a half to film. Maybe this is it. Maybe it isn't. It's bloody up in the air. But getting back to this, here we see a few new X-Men. Well, they're X-Men we've seen before, just young. But again, in these Brian Singer films, they're not wearing the traditional costumes. Which I don't understand. This is the friggin' 80s, man. It's the perfect opportunity for dumb, brightly colored spandex and big hair. This time they're being led by Mystique, whom Singer says is a reluctant leader. Which I guess she has to be, considering Professor X has been Professor X. It's a time-honored tradition. Finally, we get the bald, James McAvoy, Professor X, with a bit of a rogue eyebrow hair going on there. Look at that! Now you can never unsee it. He actually did shave his head for the role. And the reason for his baldness in this film, he stated on The Graham Norton Show, is because he goes through something so horrible and physically painful that he pulls out his hair. That reminds me of this. 